I'm Brad Richter, co-founder, curriculum author, and executive director of Lead Guitar. Our whole team is honored to be part of the GFA International Convention along with all of you. Lead Guitar provides music education through free and sustainable classical guitar programs in public schools where 80% or more of students are eligible for free or reduced price lunch. Our master guitar instructors will provide direct instruction for about 4,000 students and train dozens of teachers in 75 schools next school year. The communities we serve include Chicago, Denver, Los Angeles, Phoenix, and Tucson, and the Navajo, the Ana'atham, and Apache Nations. At Lead Guitar, we are believers in the power of learning and making music for music's sake. We also know that in-school music education inspires students to engage with their school community in new ways, prompts students to examine and expand their personal narratives, and activates growth mindset. We want Lead Guitar participants to experience the joy of music making while developing discipline, self-esteem, and teamwork skills, attributes that help them realize success throughout their lives. As a nation, the U.S. spends about $2,600 less per capita on students of color versus white students. That can be the difference between having music classes or not, having field trips or not, having guest assemblies or not, as well as having athletics, counselors, librarians, and a host of other services and opportunities that are broadly available in more affluent U.S. schools. Lead Guitar has a 20-year history of positively impacting outcomes in underfunded schools. Our mission has evolved to focus on community building through music. We don't just provide in-school classes, but rather what we refer to as four pillars of service. Co-teaching, which pairs a Lead Guitar Master Instructor with a certified teacher to co-create a new guitar class at that teacher's school. Professional development, which trains those teachers in guitar pedagogy, empowering them to eventually continue the program without help from lead guitar. On-campus events like lead guitar showcase concerts at our partner institutions, which include Roosevelt University, the University of Chicago, the Aspen Music Festival and School, our newest partner, the University of Denver, and the University of Arizona, where we have our home office. And the fourth pillar, in-school events that bring global touring artists to perform and teach in schools. Music is a, a new thing for our, our school district. I'm hoping that they'll start putting it within the elementary. You know, that way by the time they get to here, you know, they won't be so timid about playing music in front of everybody because Obviously, if you're going to start when you're five, six years old, by the time you get to 16, you know, you're, you're profession, professional. So maybe we can start playing something together. So you don't have to play for us, we just play all together. Macario picked up the guitar three years ago at a time when he was failing his classes and struggling to fit in. We came to find out that he had a, an attention disorder. He was always by himself. He never talked about friends. Then his mother says things just clicked. I felt like, oh, I could play the guitar. I could also do my homework. Hearing him say, Mom, I want to do this professionally, that's the first time I heard him talk about it going to a university. Now more students like Macario will be able to go where the music takes them. People ask me why do I have not bring my guitar everywhere and I just say to practice. Our curriculum has also evolved to address a variety of issues related to access including equitable racial, ethnic, and gender representation in learning materials, creating a Spanish language curriculum and an adaptive method that allows students with a broad range of abilities to participate in a mainstream classroom. These are lessons we learn by working closely with school partners, 
We look forward to continuing to learn from teachers, students, and their communities as we focus on improving access to and equity in music education through the guitar. I'd say to this particular project, you know, it's the follow-up. It's it's all it's going beyond the experience and staying with those students and continuing to see what their needs are. Um, that's that's sort of opening the door. And then you hope the student walks through it and says, um, "Okay, I I got something going here, and I feel better about you know myself and and my ability to express myself with this guitar." And and the, and then what else? I actually think I want to study music or. I always want this to be in my life, but I was thinking about being an engineer. I just didn't know if I could do it. And then matching them up with people who can help support um, those goals and dreams. I love to play the guitar. And I guess I'll never stop playing. <laughs>